There we go. There is a baculite. Well, hello folks. Welcome back to another fossil hunting video. Today we're looking for ammonites, baculites with some amazing iridescence. And I just found a dinosaur tooth. So let's check that out. So I was just walking along this stretch of badlands here. And would you look at that? That is a Tyrannosaurid tooth, most likely Gorgosaur. Fortunately, the tip's not there. I've looked around, I can't see it in the rock here, so I think that one's gonna be left behind. But if you look right there, that's fish bone, probably from a sturgeon. So I'm gonna keep searching this layer right here, see what we can find. Well, the dinosaur material was just up behind that hill there. We're now walking down this coulee here and where this meets the river, there are tons of baculites but they're not even the best ones. The best ones are gonna be farther around the corner there. Just walking along, look at what I see perfectly laying there on the rocks. Nice little deer antler. That's kinda of cool, I'll keep that. Sweet. Well, this is the site, check this out. Baculite. And you can see a little bit of iridescence there. And then look at this nice inoceramic clam. I'm probably gonna keep that. And then just everywhere up here. This is baculites. Right there. Look at the iridescence on this. Not the best. The site down the river has better stuff, so I won't be keeping much of this, but it just gives you an idea. I mean, there's another one right there. So, it's pretty cool. That's kind of cool. There's a little clam right there. I wonder if both sides are there. I'm going to try to get that out. Because if both sides are there, that would be Kind of cool. I just pulled it out of the ground and you can see there's one half of the clam. There's the other half of the clam. Let's see if we can get this little bit of matrix off. There we go. There's the hinge right there. It's kind of cool. I might keep that, wash it up and see how it turns out. Interesting. And there we go. Nice clam, good shell. There's a hinge right there, it's all intact. I'm kinda happy with that. I like these clams a lot. They're just kinda cool to look at. Let's see if we can find anything else along here. Look right there. Two perfect clams. That is actually really cool how they're just in the rock like that. I am keeping that for sure. Super cool. Awesome. I was about to crack this open thinking it was a concretion. It's actually just the mold left behind of a shell, probably an inoceramid. It's kind of cool. I won't take that because there's no shell on it whatsoever, but it's just cool to see. Right here. That's uh, definitely a concretion. Let's crack it open and see if we have anything good inside it. Well, I just split it. Let's see. Oh, nothing in it. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. Well, now it's onwards to the next site. See if we can find anything that's rolled down from these bluffs here. I would love to find an amlite today, so I'm definitely keeping my hopes up for one. Well, we're seeing baculite bits, and I don't know if those are concretions up there. I haven't explored ever in there, so I'm gonna go check it out because these baculite bits could be coming from up there. Well, unfortunately, doesn't look like there's any concretions up there. So back down we go, and around a corner to the great site. If you look down right here, it's a really bad baculite. But what shows we're still on the right track to finding some better ones. I mean, I see another one right here. Let's see if we can find any more. Yep, right here. This one there. And a whole bunch just laying there in the dirt. Let's see if we can find any concretions with some better ones in them. Kind of cool to sit on a rock here. Got two negatives of um, uh, shells. There's one half, there's the other. It's kind of cool. Look right here. Just looks like a normal concretion. It's actually a clam. There's the hinge right there. Cool. You can see a big concretion just right up there. I kind of want to go investigate it. See if we can get to it. It might not look like much. There's a little glint of shell there. She tells me there could be stuff right there. Well, I checked it out and there's nothing. So that about sums up my luck today. 
I'm gonna keep making my way along here though. There could be some more stuff, so I'm really hoping for a good ammonite. There's another clam right there. It's just in this rock here. You can see right along there. And there's another half of it right there. Definitely not a keeper, but it's cool to see. However, this concretion here, it looks like there should be something in there. I mean, look at the shape of that. It's the shape of a baculite. So let's crack it open. Well, I busted up that smaller concretion. There was nothing in it, but I busted another one up. There we go. Fossil shell. Has some, you know, of the original shell on it. It's not the best, but it's kind of cool to see. Okay, well, this is kind of interesting. So this is a baculite here. You can see the beautiful suture marks. You flip it over. So these are the living chambers of the animal. So this is where the squid-like creature would live. And it would balance its um, uh, buoyancy. So that's pretty cool. Look right here. You can see the iridescence that makes these baculites so cool looking. I mean, look at that. It's light blues, pinks, greens. They're quite, they're quite remarkable. They look really good when polished. I'll just walk in along the river here. A piece of baculite. And let's see, what's this? That's nothing. There's a piece of something sticking out of that rock. And then there's a baculite there. And it's kind of like in a layer of concretions going up and down here. So there could be some more stuff in this area. Fingers crossed. Holy crap, that would have been enormous. Look at the size of that imprint. Okay, we're on a good trail here. You might be able to pull something out of this little bank here. I'm excited, because that is enormous. Right here, we got a little clam party. There's an imprint there, an imprint there, an imprint there, and an imprint there. So, let's see, is there anything in there? Not that I see, but it's still a good sign. Well, we have a little bed of concretions here. There looks to be something there. There's some right there or there. Else. There's a concretion. There's something sticking out right there. Interesting. I might be able to find something good in here. <laughs> oh, well, that has made my day so far. Look at the size of that baculite. And it doesn't look like it yet. That is going to have the most you can see a little bit right there that's going to have the most amazing colors oh that's stunning it was just in a concretion there and these two pieces were loose and you just had to break off the top and boom massive baculite awesome check out that clam look at that beautiful hinge beautiful everything it's definitely a keeper and also something that's really cool look at this you can see the living chambers of the baculite and they're filled with little tiny, tiny calcite crystals. That's super cool. Check that out. It's broken in there. There is a beautiful baculite right here. You can see little purple flashes. That's cool. Well, this rock here has some clams, a little bit of iridescence there. You can see a lot of bits around. That appears to be a baculite sticking out there, so that's kind of cool. Let's see if we can, oh, there's a baculite right there. Check that out. Just a giant clam. That's enormous. There's one half, there's the other half, there's the hinge right here. That's pretty cool to see. Right here, we got an Inoceramus. It's kind of cool to see. There's the end of it right there. Got a cross section of something right there. Probably a baculite or a clam. And then over here, yeah, just a little piece of a baculite. So we're still in fossil ter territory just up here. So that's a good sign. Keep looking around. Well, this concretion here definitely has something, so let's crack it open and see how good it is. There we 
we go. There is a baculite. You can just see these things are gonna have some pretty amazing color once polished up. Sweet. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. We found some pretty good stuff. I mean, we found a dino too, so that's pretty good. We found some nice iridescent baculites, and of course, lots of clams. Uh, if you enjoy this kind of content, leave a subscription down below. If you want to check out another video where we find a ton of really nice lobsters and ammonites, click right here. And until next time, see ya.